Hey guys, 828 Find Adventure. I'm driving the lifted Honda Ridgeline. It is a 2017. It's got 200,000 miles. And we have installed, or should I say had installed in the front, the front leveling kit by J Sport. It is a one and a half inch leveling kit. Now the way they equate those is not like they do with the Tundra or the Tacoma or anything like that, or even the Subaru. It is a different way they equate that lift. So when you get the spacer, it'll be, it'll be thick and you'll go, well, this looks like the one I put on the Tacoma for the three inch lift. But no, it's one and a half inches tall and it's a one and a half inch lift doesn't concern you you just want to level out your ridge line because you're sick of that nose dive I get it okay so let's talk about installation first so I got the J Sport lift I bought the complete lift because it was on sale they had some Labor Day special and I got it and it came with a one and a half inch front spacers and they're CNC machined anodized red uh, aluminum spacers they also came a three quarter inch spacer for the rear. I did not install. And uh, cause I don't tow with this because of the mileage or anything like that. If you do tow, you probably want them. Um, I also, uh, it came with, um, so it also came with uh, sway bar links. These, uh, which I thought were gonna be longer, but they seem to be the same length. Um, but they were brand new with brand new uh, ends on them. And uh, so I went ahead and uh, had those installed as well. And, uh, you know, I went to a, um, as for installation, I went to a, an off-road place. I use one here where I live. They install lifts on all different types of vehicles all the time. And they have an alignment rack. So they're like the pros. They also do tires and stuff. Um, but they are the pros. They work on very high-end vehicles all the time. So find one near you if you're gonna do this. And, uh, you know, if you're gonna have it installed somewhere. Some people have the skills to do it. I don't have the um, the machine. If I, if I need a machine to replace my struts and compress the spring or any of that, and I really don't have the tools of the impact driver. So anyways, let's get past that. So I took it there, I had it installed. They did the alignment. It handles great, uh, picked it up. It looked awesome. It changes the whole look of the vehicle. Uh, leveling out the Honda Ridgeline. Now, some of the newer ones I have noticed are looking a little more leveled. And uh, and that's great. That will sell them. I mean, there's some people who like the lower look and there's some people who just like a leveled vehicle. And the Ridgeline leveled looks fantastic. Handling wise, um, driving this thing on the highway, the street through the through the hills the mountains where I live handles great handles as good or better than it did before uh, you know it's just um it doesn't nosedive when you brake and uh, I really like that about it plus I like the looks too um, it gives you some extra ground clearance underneath now these vehicles the Ridgeline is perfectly capable to do any off-roading now I wouldn't do rock crawling but it's as capable as any Subaru Outback, and I've seen tons of those, you know, on the, on YouTube. Uh, I wanted I, wa I wanted to just kind of put things in perspective here. A lot of people take Subaru Cross Treks and Audis and all different types of Subaru Outbacks and just everything off road, and you know, I just wanted to just you know, the Ridgeline is perfectly capable of doing that. Okay, let's see. I got some things on my list here, so. Uh, Again, um, everything, the installation and the alignment didn't take that long, uh, half a day to do it. And, uh, you know, and, and it just, it, it rides great. I, I just can't tell you how much better the ride is. I think being weight down in the front, uh, you tend to feel the bumps more. Now, I did do something else. I went ahead with a wider footprint tire. Now you don't have to use an all-terrain and you don't have to use a, uh, you know, a, a mud tire or any off-road tire at that. But I, I went with an all-terrain. I went with the Falcon Wild Peak 
AT3. It's a three mountain peak tire. It was between that and sticking with a more uh, street type tire. I was gonna think about the Michelin Cross Climate 2. Uh, it's a three mountain peak tire as well. It's super quiet uh, for any car. If you're looking for a super quiet tire that is a three mountain peak, um, the Michelin Cross Climate 2, uh, their te technology is just off the charts. But, so I put the Falcon Wild Peaks on here. They look real rugged, but they're just an all-terrain tire. Um, they are rated for snow and ice, and um, they ride great. I don't hear any noise in the car. I mean, none... I mean, just if the pavement changes a little bit, but they're not any louder than the uh, the, the summer Brigstones that were on here. Um, so I just wanted to let you know that. And the tire size is 265 6018. That is a 30.5 inch tire height. Okay. Now, being a 265, the, the OE tire is a 245. It's almost two inches wider, it's an inch on each side. It looks awesome. So with the leveled out look and these wider tires, it just is a great look. You will like your Ridgeline so much better if you do those two things. Front leveling kit, one and a half inches, and a 265 tire. It just looks fantastic. The car looks great. Um, let's see what else here. Oh, adjust your headlamps when you do this. Any, any lift, you have to adjust your headlamps or you'll be shining up in people's faces. Now the Ridgeline was designed to be nose down so when you put the lift on it's going to bring it up it's going to shine your headlights up so you want to make sure your low beams are adjusted so um and your high beams just however the headlamps adjusted so go ahead and do that and um you can do it yourself or you can have it done at the dealer the next time you're there now so this is something i ran into so i needed to have the windshield fixed on this and I've been having some trouble with the uh, windshield, the uh, the box over the cameras, the little plastic box behind your mirror. Uh, it um, it kept coming unglued after I had the, the original OE 200,000 mile windshield replaced. And um, and it was, um, insurance companies will not give you an OE windshield on a, a, a few year old car. They're just not gonna pay however much it is for OE windshield. So I went to a place, they put in their brand of windshield which is nice the, the installation was awesome the customer service was great but that box kept falling down and it wasn't coming unclipped it was the double stick tape on the back of it kept coming off the windshield and that's put on at their factory so i took it back they tried to fix it didn't work so on so on had a couple more windshields installed okay so everything's good now they finally got it sorted but in the meantime, I'd had the, in the middle of this, everything was working fine with all the safety stuff after the lift and everything. But this last time they did the windshield was between that and they couldn't adjust my safety sense. And they said it was out of their perimeters, which is, I think it's just a liability thing or something. I, I'm not, I don't even, I don't even know what the problem was. Um, so I just took it to the dealer and they took care of it. Um, and insurance covered that. So, you know, because insurance wants you to have your safety stuff. So, anyway, so it was no big deal. I just had to go to the dealer and dro drop it off and let them do it. Um, takes a couple hours uh, for them to s put it in there and be able to figure it out, you know, between their oil changes and service that they're doing. So, that was all good. Um, and let's see. I mean, I really don't have anything else other than that. Otherwise, it looks great. And with these tires and the lift, it handles and drives great it's not rougher a lot of people go is this rough is this going to be a rough ride no it's not so um i showed you some measurements um you can measure it against yours i like to take it usually to a gas station where it's really flat or um a, fu a super flat level part of the street i only have one place in my neighborhood like that and uh, or i'll take it to the gas station but anyways so do your measurements before and after um I thought I had measurements from before. I can't find them, but I'm going to give you the measurements after. And, uh, you know, I, well, I gave you the measurements after this is, I haven't put this, I haven't put the video together yet. So I don't really know what I'm saying, but, uh, <laughs> so anyways, um, so anyways, I just wanted to do this video, um, for those who are thinking about it or hesitant or whatever, there is these overland off-road places 
that can do installation like this everywhere. Uh, the dealer, they told me they wouldn't do it, even though I know people who work at the dealership that have had it done. Uh, and I'm sure they did it there. It's probably some who knows what. But anyway, so I had it done uh, somewhere else. And, um, uh, you know, there's overland places. They're all over the country now. They can do it. Uh, they make the same lift for the Honda Pilots and the Passports, and it makes all of those look awesome. And, uh, you know, and you don't lose any of the cushy ride or any of the, you know, I think it improves the handling, but, you know, people have their own thoughts. So, anyways, get that lift. You won't be, you, you won't be disappointed. I don't know who you're going to get your lift through. I got J-Sport. It, looked, it, looks, it looks good. Even though you can't see it once it's installed, it looks awesome out of the box, as you've seen in pictures. And, uh, you know, um, just don't hesitate. Just do it. Just just do it. Don't hesitate anymore. Do it and get 265, 6018 tires. Now, those tires, I'm pretty sure will fit without a lift, the wider tire. Uh, there's enough room. You can't go any taller than that, though. You start going any taller, um, depending on, you know, what you can five-size tire. If you go to a 31-inch tall tire or a 31 and a half, uh, you will probably have, ru have rub backing up at full lock, if not, you know, depending on how big you go, turning all the time. And you'll have to do some, um, some modifications, uh, which can be done. So, anyways, I just wanted to talk to you about this lift and how much I enjoy it and love it. Uh... I hope you do it, and I hope you get the wider tires. You'd really love it. Okay, guys, let's see how much it's lifted. So to the rocker panel, it looks like 14 inches front, 14 inches rear. From the ground to the wheel tub, We've got 34 and 3 quarters. In the front, from the ground to the wheel tub, I have 34 and a half. That's awesome. As you can see, it's completely leveled out now. It looks great. Now, here, let's see what we got here. To the bottom of the lip spoiler is 10 inches, which is awesome. The rear is basically the same, but I'll measure to the rear bumper. To the bottom of the rear bumper is 17 and a half inches. So that's a pretty good lift. And it looks great. What do you think about that? Just look at it for a minute. It looks so much better than the nose dive. Now I know some people like that. It looks like the, uh, what is it, the Holden they have in Australia? The single cab truck with a V8 in it that burns wheels and, you know, it's a pretty neat muscle car. They don't make them anymore. But, you know, a lot of people like that nose down look, but this is pretty good look. these right here light up and they're sequential turns I did another video on those well I hope you like that video on the uh, Honda Ridgeline lift you know if you have any questions reach out I'll answer whatever I can about it you know about ride quality and stuff since I did not install these I do not have any of the uh, mechanic knowledge of removing the struts I leave that up to the professionals dealer independent with whoever will help you it should be pretty cheap to have the spacers installed so that said if you would uh, please like share subscribe check out any of the merch i'm selling to support the channel and um, i'd really appreciate it and i will um i will see you next time see ya